Hello, and welcome to our Minord video series. In this video, we will cover how to register, as well as explore the functionality of the Minord tools, including direct model number configuration, product search, the quote dashboard, order manager, serial number lookup, and the where to buy feature. In this section, we will get logged in and go over the benefits of being logged in. As a guest, you will have access to many of the Minord tools. However, registering allows you to save your work, obtain pricing, as well as place and track orders if you are a direct Nord customer. Starting at the Nord homepage, which can be accessed at www.nord.com, you can log into your Minord account here. If you have yet to register, click on the Register button and follow the instructions. Type in your email, hit enter, and then type in your password and hit enter. After logging in, you are redirected to the Nord homepage where you can access the tools via the flyout menu on the top toolbar. In this section, we will look at the Direct Model Number Configuration tool. Using this tool, you can configure a complete unit for any application based on known items or a predetermined catalog selection. You will be able to obtain pricing, drawings, and technical data sheets. We will go through a basic product selection and show the navigation and functionality. Let's start in the navigation bar by clicking on MyNord, Product Selection, and then Direct Model Number Configurator. In the Create New Quote window, you can see the following. Two reference fields for the quote project and the individual product configuration, a drop-down product group selection, and a product family selection that is available based on the product group selected. Select your product category from the drop-down and then select the product family of what you want to configure. It's important to note that while you can configure the motors and VFDs separately, you can also configure motors with VFDs as well as gear motors with VFDs. Click Apply Selection to go into the Unit Configurator. At the top of the screen, you will see the system-generated quote ID along with your custom project reference. Below, you can see your references are pulled in but can be edited if needed. The Environment section shows measurement and efficiency defaults based on your location. These can be adjusted based on the application or final installation site. The Product Family section will show the product category you previously selected. Note, this selection can be changed at any time by clicking on Edit. To the right is the Configuration Summary panel. Here, you can see an interactive list of configured options and required selections that are needed to complete the quote. In this case, almost everything is shown as a required selection as we have not yet configured anything. There are a total of three types of selection notices you will see in this panel, including Required Selection, CAD Drawing Selection, and Recommended Selection. The CAD Drawing Selections shown here mean that if the selection is not made, you will be unable to access the Drawing Files feature. Let's work through the quote from top to bottom, selecting options needed for your application. As you select your options, the product model number updates to match your selections. You will also notice the configuration summary shows up in green to give you live feedback of the options selected along with their list pricing adders and real-time final net pricing at the bottom. Once the configuration is complete, you should see only green check marks in the configuration summary panel. Along with seeing your net pricing at the bottom of this panel, you can now use some additional features in the product configurator, such as drawing files and the technical data sheet generator. To generate drawings, simply click on the Drawing Files button. The pop-up window shows an interactive 3D model of your configured unit, along with common 3D, 2D, and dimensional file types. For a complete summary of our selection and performance ratings, click the Technical Data Sheet and select your preferred language. A new window pops up with a formatted PDF ready to be downloaded. Once finished using these tools, you can click the Save Item to Quote button. This will take you back to the Quote Dashboard where you can add a new configuration within the same quote project or 
download a quote document with pricing. We just finished looking at the direct model number configuration where you can now easily configure Nord units, download CAD drawings, and get technical data sheets. Next, we are going to look at the product search tool. In this section, you will learn how to use the product search to locate a Nord unit to fit your application requirements. The product search allows you to specify performance and mechanical requirements to locate the ideal Nord solution for your application. Let's start in the navigation bar by clicking on My Nord, Product Selection, and then Product Search. Select the preferred product family or families. For this demonstration, let's say we are looking for a right angle bevel unit to be used on a conveyor. Let's select the helical bevel family and the two-stage helical bevel family. Enter performance data to help filter the results. These data fields include output speed, input design, service factor, motor power, and output torque. Note, some of the values you input are based on the minimum allowable results. You can also select the type of mounting and shaft design of the unit, such as hollow keyed or solid keyed. Let's enter the following search criteria. Integral motor input design, 40 RPM out, a service factor of 1.5 or higher, and a minimum output torque of 4,500 inch pounds. Note, plus or minus 10% speed variance will pull by default next to the output speed field, but we can change it. Let's change it to 1 RPM. We will also need to select B14 flange mount, also known as a face flange, and a hollow keyed shaft design. We will be looking for a 1 and 7 16 inch hollow bore size. Note, not all option fields need to be filled for results to be populated. However, filling in more fields will help narrow your selection. You will now be able to refine your search criteria or sort to find the best selection for your application. By default, this list is sorted by cost effectiveness. Change the view here and sort by shaft size. We will sort by the shaft size by smallest to largest or shaft diameter ascending. The helical bevel in this panel matches our criteria. Select configure to review and take this unit into the configuration screen. Many selections will be defaulted based on your search inputs. We just finished looking at the product search tool where you can now find the perfect Nord unit to fit your application based on some simple filters and mounting options. Next, we will look at the quote dashboard where you can create and collaborate on quotes with your colleagues and Nord support contacts. In this section, we're going to navigate the quote dashboard to locate quotes, manage project status, and place orders. The Quote Dashboard is a collaborative quote database where you can access quotes done by yourself, your colleagues, and Nord Sales and Engineering. You can create new quote projects and even purchase directly from this tool. Let's start in the navigation bar by clicking on My Nord, Orders and Quotes, and then Quote Dashboard. At the top of the screen, you can filter by creation date and quote status. A toggle to only show my quotes allows you to reduce the list to just items you created. However, there are other filter options that can help you find specific quotes on your account. In the quote list below, you can expand each quote to reveal the line item details. From this view, you can add new line items, edit existing configurations, download drawing files, and generate quote or technical datasheet PDFs. Other functions include duplicating an item configuration, deleting an item configuration, editing the quote project description, deleting a quote project, and duplicating a quote project. Note, deleting a quote project is permanent and should only be done with certainty. To recognize if a quote is active, look at the status toggle at the top right of the quote. To activate a quote, simply click on the toggle and approve the quote activation. You can switch the status toggle again to put the quote back into draft mode. Doing this creates a revision. 
With this feature, you can reference previous revisions and see the changes by selecting the revision history next to the status toggle. Online ordering is available for all of your completed quote projects. To start an order, click Add to Shopping Cart next to the item on the active quote you are ordering. Note, adding a quote to your shopping cart that is not currently active will automatically activate it. You can see the shopping cart icon update with a number which represents the quantity of items within it. Clicking on the shopping cart icon opens up a window to complete the order. You can see the products that you have added to the cart and some fields below. Type your order details or upload your own purchase order document for ordering made easy. We just finished looking at the quote dashboard where you can now find all quotes and projects saved in one place and easily collaborate when quoting new projects. Next, we will look at the Order Manager. The Order Manager is the perfect tool to manage and track your Nord orders. You can access all orders placed by your company, see their statuses, and even track the order once it has left our facility. Within each order, you can see the individual items ordered and even receive product-specific documentation. Let's start in the navigation bar by clicking on My Nord, Orders and Quotes, and then Order Tracking. You can now see your orders listed below. At the top of the list of orders is a filter section which can be opened to show advanced search options. These filters include the order number, your PO number, the order status, a date range, and the person who placed the order. Each row within the list represents an order. The information from left to right is shown. Order number, PO number, number of line items on the order, order status, and the order date. You can click on any order to show the details and each item within the order. The detailed view shows the total price of the order as well as the individual prices of the items. If an order is complete or has shipped, you will see some additional functionality, including the Download Invoice button and Track Your Order button. The Download Invoice button allows you to pull an invoice directly from the page with all the order details. The Track Your Order button is a hyperlink directly to the carrier that was used to ship your order. Clicking the Details button on an item will bring up more information for that specific line item on a different page. On this page, you will see a brief overview of the line item with the pricing and order details on the right. You can also access product-specific documentation, technical data sheets, product details, and all deliveries associated with that line item. Once you are finished, click back to Overview to search for additional order status details. Now that we've learned about our convenient order manager tool, we will move on to the serial number lookup tool. The Serial Number Lookup tool allows you to retrieve manuals and documentation for recent or past orders, as well as quotes obtained from internal sales and customer service. You can download each manual individually or as one PDF file with all relevant material. Let's start in the navigation bar by clicking My Nord, Online Service, and then Serial Number Lookup. Simply type in your serial number or quote number that matches the layout of the example listed and click on the magnifying glass to search. In the panel below, you will see the details of the specific unit, including the product name, model type and nomenclature, ratio, mounting position, lubricant type, and lubricant quantity. On the right, you can access and download the manuals and documentation for your unit as either a PDF complete manual or as a zip file with everything broken out into individual PDF documents. Below that, in the Manual section dropdown, you can see all the individual manuals and documents that make up the complete manual. A brief description of each PDF is given, along with the page count and file size. You can also download these documents individually. As an additional feature for our authorized distributors, you will have access to the Technical Data Sheet option located below the Details panel here. Note, if you do not have access to this feature, please talk to your NOR District Sales Manager to ask about getting access. 
Clicking on this brings up a one to two page summary of your order or quote that can be used for quickly requoting or getting information, such as the gearbox shaft size. We just finished looking at the serial number lookup tool, where you can now easily find your unit documentation and access the technical datasheet feature. Next, we will look at the Where to Buy tool. With the Where to Buy tool, you can easily look up your company's location to find Nord distributors, Nord authorized service centers, and Nord sales contacts closest to you. Start by clicking on Where to Buy at the top of the screen. This will navigate you to an interactive map where you can enter your zip code or city and state. After clicking on search, the map will update to show the closest Nord sales representative, distributors, and authorized service centers. You can click on any of the results in the interactive list to show the contact details and location of the contact on the map. Alternatively, you can simply click on the icons in the map to bring up a contact card for that location. This concludes our MyNord overview, where you've learned about our product configurator, product search, quote dashboard, order manager, serial number lookup, and the where to buy feature. If you have any questions regarding anything covered in this video, you can contact Nord by clicking contact at the top of the page.